This is the Whisk website. I'm back. This is Whisk. What's not sport for cats and kittens? And they're very cute. Look at all these babies. So there's like a whole lot of stuff. I don't think they have any crafts right now. I think that's like a seasonal thing. You can get in touch this way. They actually have a, a quite a few ways of donating. There's an Amazon wish list which has. Let's have a look at it. Wait, hold on. Nope. Okay. Give me a second. Uh, there is a way of doing this that I still haven't figured out because I'm silly. Okay. There. <laughs> I don't think there's any information here. That would dox me, but yeah, there's like toys that you can that you can buy for them. This seems to be mostly toys, but also food. I don't like the fact that they actually have Felix listed because Felix is not a great brand of cat food. Whiskers is better. Felix actually causes some stomach upset for some cats. But yeah, a lot of this is toys, which are great. But there's also catlets, bin bags for the catlets, uh, vitamin supplements, and things like that. And cleaning products that you definitely need to like there's a whole lot of stuff here and you can find this on their website but I can also list it I will just copy the link and stick it in in chat so if you do see anything there that you might want to pick up for them you can back here and easy fundraising this is I think Yeah, this is way, yeah, when you use these websites, you can, um, it says it somewhere. <sighs> Here we go. Brands pay them a commission. And it goes towards Whisk. I haven't used this, so I don't think, mostly because I don't really understand it. But that's just, that's just my failing. But that, yeah, that's a way. <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job with this, but but whatever. <laughs> Let's do something easier. Look who they are. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, Western Art Support for Cats and Kittens was established early in 2020 in response to the growing need for control of the feral cat population, especially in Lewis and Harris. And after the National Cat Rescue Charity pulled their support out of the Western Isles. That would be cat pr Cats Protection, who ditched us when the funding dried up. They were just like, well, fuck those cats then. If there's no money, fuck it. And they left. So then Whisk uh, showed up. Our committee consists of eight Lewis residents who have over 30 years of cat animal rescue experience between them. As well as being hands-on in all aspects of the organization, the committee members coordinate numerous volunteer fundraisers, pen cleaners, trapping assistants, our volunteer fosters, and of course they oversee all adoptions. Look at these babies. Look at these sweet babies. Whisk exists to help improve the quality of life of cats while reducing the population of feral cats in the islands by trapping, neutering, and returning adult ferals to their colonies. Kittens are kept in foster care until they are social and then matched with new owners through social media. The group also shares information on missing cats to help reunite loved ones of their pet owners. They do do that. I shared every single post they did on Facebook for that. But yeah, I adopted Tobes from these guys, and I do have a video somewhere which he is in. But I don't remember where I kept it. It's probably in my Toby folder. There it is. But look, it's my boy. It's my boy. It's my little baby man. They put that on Instagram as one of their stories in like, I think it must have been March or April 2021. No, 2022. And I remember thinking, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to help them with this, so I'll just share it. And then I completely forgot. And in early May or late April, they were like, here's some more cats that need adopting. And one of them was Toby. And they were like, hey, do you, do you want this cat? And I was like, hell yeah. He, he's adorable. 
And then a year later, I got, you know, when they do that flashback thing on social media. It's like, hey, here's that thing you shared a year ago. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll look at that. And then there was Toby, like, right in the front, in front of it. I'm just like, oh, my gosh, that's my boy. <laughs> so, yeah, he was part of a colony of about 30 feral cats in a village on this island. And uh, it's it's... It's not healthy for cats to be feral. There's too much, like, bacteria and viral infections they can get. And then there's the overpopulation. And they won't be able to sustain it because they'll just completely eat themselves out of house and home with local wildlife. Like mice, rats, birds. They're just going to run out if there's too many cats. So Whisk uh, traps them humanely, obviously. And then takes care of them. They do the flea and, wor flea and worming treatment. They neuter them or spay them. And then the the younger ones they put up for, for adoption and they have like a group of fosters. My friend Andy fostered fostered Toby. Andy uh, is a committee member for the astronomy club that I'm a part of as well. And every time I see him, I'm like, here's a picture of Toby. Because, uh, God, I, remember, I still remember when Andy brought him over. He was just so tiny. He was just tiny little, little man. Tiny little baby man. Yeah, we looked at that. 2021 numbers? How to help? I did click it. There we go. As WISC is an entirely voluntary organization, we rely solely on the kindness of our supporters. Whether it be a one-off donation of cat food or a monthly donation, excuse me, we are hugely grateful to each and every person who takes the time to help us. We generally couldn't exist without the generosity we've been shown so far. Yeah, it's been really good, like, even when they put out the most recent post about another colony down on Barrett, which is the last island on this island chain. Um, it was like a huge amount of support and it even got like a, a news report on Sky News about it. Because it was just like, we need all the help we can get. Because it's like a lot of cats and it's like baby season. So most of the, a lot of the ladies would be pregnant and that'd be like a whole bunch of litters of kittens that need housing and taking care of and all of that as well. Oh yeah, okay, but what are some, some of the channels in which you could support us through? We have an Amazon wish list, which we update regularly with the things we need. There is also an initiative called Easy Fundraising, sorry, <laughs> Fundraising, they'll explain it better than me, through which you simply sign up. Then when internet shopping, you can shop through them. And there are over 6,000 retailers which will offer donations to your chosen cause based on what you spend. Then we have a single, simple link to donate through PayPal. And last but not least, the good old-fashioned bank transfer. Yeah. So yeah, they have PayPal, and if you guys, can, anything you can offer, even if it's just sharing all this information, like on social media or something like that, that would be great. And quick reminder, um, this is not a charity stream, this is a raising awareness stream. Um, if you don't do donate to Whisk, it is entirely at your discretion and will not go show up on stream. And please, if you want to support them, don't give me anything. Don't tip through me, tip through the email address that is all over the channel right now. Tip through that via PayPal. But yeah, whisk. They gave me my baby. My little my little baby man. And even when I move to Bristol, I will continue to support them because they need it. And I will be forever grateful for them. For looking after Tobes. <laughs>